striking 1,600 high-value targets without losing a single aircraft. Below the cloud cover, radar-guided surface-to-air missiles scan the sky for signs of an imminent threat, but see little more than a small blip that fades into the background of noise. The payload bay doors open, revealing two GPS-guided bombs, destined for the assumed location of the then Iraq president, Saddam Hussein. This simple act may well have revealed the stealthy aircraft to radar below. Its exterior was molded by precise mathematical equations, every facet designed to disperse and absorb the electromagnetic energy surrounding the skies around them. With the bombs delivered and their location potentially given away, the defenseless planes quickly turned to escape enemy airspace. This was a highly specialized aircraft, designed to carry just two bombs in its payload bay. A plane that looked like a fighter jet, but if it met enemy fighters, the subsonic plane, armed with bombs meant for ground targets, stood little chance. It relied entirely on stealth to get behind enemy lines and strike without being seen. Something it did, time after time during the Gulf War, striking 1,600 high-value targets without losing a single aircraft.